Over the last few weeks, I've been digging in a lot more into Reloom and some of the tools that it offers, helping me rebuild websites for clients, but also build designs and ideas and flesh things out for myself before I actually physically start building things. Well, one of the key things I want to take a look at today is something that if you are working with rebuilding a client's website, this could speed up the whole process considerably. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So when you log into Reloom, you have an option in the top corner called Import from URL. Does exactly what its name suggests. If we choose this option, simply drop the URL you want, so this will be the domain for the website that you want to rebuild, import the sitemap, and then let that go and import the various different pages that are relevant. In this example, you can see it's going through, finding what pages are there, and it'll pull that in, including the whole sitemap and structure. So now what we end up with is the full sitemap for the existing website. You can see we've got our homepage, Page and all the pages that link off it. It's a relatively small site that we're taking a look at, but if you had a much bigger site, all those pages would be listed here. Now, obviously, there's a few considerations to take into account here right now. Some of these are going to be pages. Some of them are going to be templates. So, for example, we may have a template for a post. This is going to be reused and the content is basically going to change, but the template is going to stay the same. So a little bit of remedial work if you've got a site that operates in that fashion is going to need to be taken into consideration, but it's very easy to do. So you can see these three items on the right hand side, these are all posts. So what we could effectively do is delete all of these except for one and use that one to build our template design out. So let's do that. If you want to click the three dots, you can choose the option to delete. The same thing goes for the last one. Again, we'll just delete this. And now we've basically got our site structure, including this one template, which if we want to, we could rename. We'll call it post template for this example. Hit enter or return, and we now have that listed inside here. So we know exactly what we need to do. And then what we can do is we can simply come in and we can edit, delete anything that doesn't make any sense inside you. So you're going to have your hero section. You're going to have your body section. We're not going to worry about things like features, so we can select it and delete it. Same thing for the next one and the feature section underneath. The CTA or call to action is something we want inside there. And we may also want to add in something like a social share. We'll just create a blank section and we'll just name this social sharing and we'll just pop in a description. And there we go. So now we're creating a more customized layout. And now once we're happy with everything, the way it's all set up, customize and change anything you want, then we can jump over to the wireframe stage, let that build up the wireframes it suggests, customize these as we see fit based upon our sitemap, move things around, change things, delete things, et cetera, et cetera. You've seen this before, I'll link to the video here and down below so you can take a look at my other videos. And then once we've got the layout the way that we want, we can simply jump into the style guide and get a little bit more creative. You know, we can set up the navigation so we can come in here, upload our logo for our light and dark themes. We can set any navigation items you want inside you. It's all fully editable. So we can come back to our wireframe, for example, come over to our heading, which is kind of template section, a global section, as they call it. And then we can easily come in here, add extra items in, change it to what we want. We want to change the style of this, not a problem at all. We can replace the component. Maybe we want to have a much more feature rich header section with a more sort of mega menu select that option, we now have a mega menu which we can customize the structure of. You get the idea how we could use this. And like I say, then we can move over to the style guide and we've got everything set up ready to build things out, put in our branding, our colors, light or dark mode, depending on what we're doing, our typography, UI styling, all those options can be set up. Like I say, if you want to learn more about this, I've got links in the description down below that will take you through in more detail how to use Reloom. But I thought this was super useful. If you are rebuilding someone's website, that ability to import the URL, have the sitemap already set up for yourself, then customize this to move to the wireframe side of things, add any additional content you want in, modify, expand, whatever needs to be done. Pretty cool. Anyway, check this out, link down below. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.